Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And since the minority chairman said that his previous comments uh, also relate to this bill, uh, his previous comments were centered around the idea that we, we don't have the money for these three bills. We can't afford these three bills. And this bill specifically, I believe, is dealing with child advocacy centers. Child advocacy centers, and we're trying to get them a million dollars. And so if the chairman is continuing his line of, uh, of opposition uh, centered around we don't have the money, I would like to, to, to comment on that. We are debating a 12-month budget. We are not debating a emergency spending bill. We are not debating a stopgap budget. What we are debating is a 12-month budget. Act 10A is a 12-month budget, something that the governor said he was, uh, he was committed to all along, a 12-month budget that spends $29.8 billion. Well, it could spend 29 point eight billion dollars. The governor admitted that this budget is authorized to spend up to twenty nine point eight billion dollars when he his administration certified the number twenty nine point eight billion dollars in potential revenue. So the General Assembly would be authorized to spend up to twenty nine point eight billion dollars and the bill that we passed spent $29.68 billion, therefore being a balanced budget. Mind you, that's $400 million, a $400 million increase over last year. But currently, Act 10A only spends $23.4 billion. So we're only spending $23.4 billion. We're authorized to spend up to $29.6 billion. So the $6.3 billion we can spend between now and the end of the year, we're free to spend. So I don't understand if we have $6.3 billion to spend, and this bill cost us a million dollars, how the minority chairman says that we don't have the money to pay for this bill. We clearly have the money to pay for this bill, the last bill, and the next bill, and still have over $5 billion to spend. So if you want to fund our child advocacy centers seven months after the budget deadline, I would encourage you to vote for this, and I'll be voting for it. And I would ask the other side of the aisle to help fund our child advocacy centers because we do have the money. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.